Well, like social media, everyone has a cell phone. Everyone's cell phone has a camera, and everything gets videotaped these days. It's just a matter of finding it. So in terms of preserving evidence, discovering evidence, it's huge. And you just have to find out who took the videos. One of the first things we do when you retain us, if it's an accident where we need to find out what happened, is we scour the area, we surveil the area to see if there's cameras and who has cameras. There's cameras many, many times all around in all kinds of buildings. Uh, it's important for us to get involved early because a lot of the cameras that are on buildings uh, tape over their tape every 30 days, sometimes 20 days. So it's important that we get retained early, it's important we get involved in the case and then we can do that and, and obtain that information. But then on the private side, like I said, everyone's got a cell phone, everyone's got a video camera and everybody likes to videotape it and everybody likes to post it on YouTube. Uh, you'd be surprised, I think, to find out how many times just looking at YouTube we found footage of accidents that we're involved in or situations we're involved in. Uh, most police officers these days uh, have dash cams in their cars and as you probably know now the new trend is that the officers are going to start wearing uh, body cameras. I have a case where a police officer uh, was involved in a crash and the whole thing was caught on the dash cam in clear, clear, clear uh, HD quality video and it leaves no doubt as to what really happened and sometimes it helps the police and sometimes it doesn't. I have a case where uh, they tasered a young man to death and it was all caught on video and that's not going to help them very much. My name is Joe Kalbeck. If you need more information please call me at area code 305-476-7400 or call our firm Colson Higgs at the same number or feel free to visit our website at colson.com.